Hey guys, it's Antis. We're back in Pokey 1. Uh, just a quick update on what happened between episodes here. Um, Quillava's level 33, about to be level 34. I'm not sure what level Quillava was last time. Might have been 31 or 32. Might have not leveled up at all. I don't know. Noctowl. So we evolved Hoot Hoot into a Noctowl. Um, I battled every trainer along the way and backtracked to the other route that we ran through by the mill tank farm. And I was able to get him up to level 32, and of course he did evolve, uh, which is great because it's what we wanted. And then our Eevee actually evolved. Uh, I gave it everything I could and messed with its EVs in order to raise its happiness. I was able to get this one uh, up to level 25. So Noctowl's 30, so we got... Quillava at 33, Noctowl at 31, and uh, Umbreon is at 25. The Scyther and Golduck are, of course, from my Kanto team, but I just use them for their HM moves. Um, so I traveled across the ocean, beat every trainer I could in order to level up the team, and uh, when I got there, I realized that the gym is also closed off, so I went ahead and talked to them to see what they wanted me to do. They gave me this mission here to come back to the SS Aqua. Uh, so since I had to come back anyways, I just grabbed the medicine real fast, and now we're back here to turn the medicine into Jasmine. So let's go ahead and give her the medicine. <clears throat> I'm hoping we can get through this quick enough that we should be able to, uh, beat both gyms, hopefully. So we're gonna hurry up, we're gonna run down and beat her. Yeah, I know I did quite a bit of leveling up um, between between the episodes here. I spent a little bit of extra time after yesterday's episode uh, going along the route, battling some trainers, and then I spent a little bit of time this you know today as well uh, to try to get us leveled up high enough where we can get our team a bit more balanced. And then obviously we were able to evolve both of our Pokemon, which gave us the... So now we have two... We have three out of the six Pokemon that I want for my uh, Johto team. I know it took us quite a few episodes to uh, to get to this point. We had just uh, our Cyndaquil for quite a while. Okay, I want to battle your friends. Uh, hello? Hmm. I guess she doesn't have people that we can battle in here. We did already battle these people. Uh, not at the moment. That's nice to know. See, I was considering adding Steelix to our team because I think it looks cool. But I didn't, uh, I don't trade with people, so... I didn't know I'd be able to get it. Plus, I don't know where to get a metal coat. But we're not going to worry about that. Man, I'm surprised that we... Oh, it was, cr it was a critical hit. That's why. I was actually surprised that we were able to hit him. Man... Her Steelix is actually <coughs> higher, higher level than we are. Well, she's using really bad moves, though. Sweet. All right, cool. Another badge.
All right, so uh, in order for us to enter the gym, we have to take care of this rat on board, so we have to go to the SS Aqua. So let's just get down there real quick. I don't know which one of the SS Aqua is. It might have been that one off the side, I think. Or this one down here, I guess. I don't know. I don't remember. The one off the side is the one that was for a Unova region. Alright, yeah, so this is it because this guy let us through. So they want me to talk to nine people about the thief. <clears throat> oh, okay, see, I, I was just curious if there was a room there, and there was. So I think we're going to have the chance to do a lot of battling in here. for my drink. I think while we're recording, we're going to kind of stick back to using Quill Lava the most. Let's see. Flame Charge. It only has 100, or 50. I guess we'll skip this one for now. I think I have a flame charge TM. <clears throat> Quill Lava is so close to evolving. I want to stick with using Quill Lava because we, we we really have to maintain at least one Pokemon that's stronger than everyone else's. Uh, because you just as you just seen when we fought Jasmine, you know her Pokemon was like three levels higher than us, and that's definitely no good for us. Uh, I didn't even pay attention to the fact that these are counting as talking to people. They are just thinking about battling. Trying not to use up all my flamethrower. But I also don't want cool lava to go down.
is you know, dead in. Alright, so we'll head over to the other wing. Alright, so there's just four rooms on this side. Another thing I did too, uh, you can kind of tell by the the quests off to the side there, I uh, went back down to uh, Azra Town or whatever it's called, down to where Kurt is so I could talk to his granddaughter. She wanted me to go back into the Slowpoke well and make sure there were no other Team Rocket members down there. And there was like one or two. And then when I finished the quest with her, it's a it's a daily quest. She was like, yeah, if you want to come back again tomorrow, you can do another quest. Which, you know, no thanks. I just wanted to clear it off of our quest board and get the initial XP and reward for it. Uh, I also did the... Uh, fed the mill tanks. Um, that was barely worth anything. And also, that's also a daily quest that we could redo anytime we want. I don't like to redo daily quests just because they're not worth as much XP the second time around. Um, but obviously, I like to at least get them cleared so I have like a quest completion. <clears throat> but I still can't find Kirk. Found Kim, can't find Kirk. Walked all over uh, the town there and go around Goldenrod City. I, I couldn't find him. Okay, so that clears out this floor. <sighs> Alright, let's head downstairs. Hey, what? Oh, okay. I was like, wait, what? I thought he was telling me something. That's the only reason I talked to him a second time. <clears throat> Alright, goodbye, Santa Bird. Okay, so we're at five people out of nine. Ooh, yes. I love double battles. I think it'd be great if you could just, like, set it in the Pokemon games. Like, as long as you have enough Pokemon to do a double battle or a triple battle or a six-on-six, six, just however many you have and how many they have. Just to set it up where it's always like a group fight would be awesome. Just because it'd spread out so much XP. Goodbye, Teddy Ursa. Boom! Goodbye, Fanfy. Alright. Yeah, it's great having Noctowl be in a decent level. <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like we went all the way down there just for the double fight, which is fine with me. Just a little more XP. I don't see any items or anything, so once we're done fighting him, we'll just take off to the other side of the ship. <clears throat> Well, there's the rat on the ship. 
Yay! I yeah, I had a feeling it was gonna evolve. Sweet. Evolve ten Pokemon. I played through all of Kanto and halfway through Johto, and I've only just now evolved ten Pokemon. That's what happens, though, whenever you know exactly what team you want, and those are the only ones you're willing to catch. Look at this pimp right here. Yeah, pretty sweet. I don't see any items, so we can just beat him real quick and then get out of here. <clears throat> and this should be the ninth person. Nice. Dang. I didn't think that we were going to mess that, that Magmar up that quick. I like how even when I use a fire attack, yeah, the attack animations in this game are, you know, one animation per Pokemon. So I use a fire move and he still just headbutts him. Alright, don't see nothing down there. Just gotta check for any items real quick. Oh, there's the thief anyways. That was, did the guy say his name was Thanos? <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. Here, watch out, he's gonna snap us out of existence. He's gonna be mad if we beat his Pokemon. He's gonna snap us away, or he's just gonna snap my Pokemon out of existence. Is that what is that what happened in the Pokemon world? Just Thanos over here gets mad because I beat him, so then he snaps Pokemon out of existence, and they just have a lame world just like ours. <clears throat> oh, didn't want to hit that Magmar. Alright. Alright. Yeah, and I didn't use any, like, a uh, Magby or Elect Kid or anything like that. The, the pre-evolutions like Pichu and stuff, because, like, they're just going to evolve into a Kanto Pokemon. You know, so I wasn't interested in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't, you would have got away with it if it weren't for this meddling kid. All right, cool. All right, so that's what he, that's what they wanted us to do. They wanted us to go to the ship here and collect that data, because as you've seen, it said data transfer complete or whatever. Uh, apparently, he stole some kind of research data from the uh, gym leader at the other island. I didn't know where we are. Wonder does this go to the captain? Yep. That guy's got a sweet coat. Wow. That's it. Huh? Oh. I thought he'd give us something. Alright, so we should have enough time for me to run to the Pokey Center, heal up the team, and then head on over to the, uh, Cyanwood City and take on that gym leader. Now that gym leader is Chuck who has a fighting type gym. Uh, we should be able to just flame him all to death. And then we'll end the episode after that, open up these boxes and everything. And then I'll go ahead and do the tedious off-camera task of walking us all the way back across the ocean and back through the land and all that back over to Eckert City. Or then we should be able to hit through the ice trail. Um, just, I think we have to go through a big cave and stuff too. And also we have like the Lake Rage area, and depending on where, I can't remember the map like 100%, you know, it's been a long time since I played the originals. But uh, we might get lucky enough, that we'll, either way, we should be finding that one sister soon, that then should let us beat the house where they're all Eevee Evolution Trainers, 
and if I'm not mistaken, we get another EV for free, which we no longer have a need for another EV because it's not going to be stronger than ours, and we already have the Umbreon that we want. Um, so what we might have to do instead is uh, offer that one on the buy-sell trade market because there were some people, when, like I said the other day, I spent some time off camera seeing if anyone was selling rare candies to just start stocking up. And uh, someone was offering me um, a ton of rare candies if I would give them an Eevee. And at the time, I you know I didn't I had an Eevee, but I wasn't gonna give them my Eevee. Uh -uh. Oh, oops. I was like, what? <clears throat> I click the go to button, that should take us on the fastest route over. And on this route, I did beat all the trainers. I did circle through the islands and hop on the little island chains here. And of course, there's a few spots that I couldn't get through because my guy doesn't know Whirlpool. Why did he come? Why did the computer make it come here to a spot where we get stuck? It's weird watching the uh, the automated movement thing because it just takes like the weirdest path where it constantly has to turn. Let me take back control. Let's go over and heal up our team real quick. <clears throat> now, based on the number of episodes that we have so far for the Johto region, we definitely have to get both badges in this episode in order to be on track. You know, like I said before, I want to have... When I first did it, I had 13 episodes, and I think uh, 11 of them were the badges and the... Um, Elite Four. So there was like two of them where I started the journey and then one that was just like a sound check thing uh, and a team analysis. So there was a team analysis episode and then there was an episode where I did a temp auto fix and then just told everybody, you know, I had the audio worked out or whatever. Um, so I want to like remain within that same thing. So right now we have two episodes where we didn't get much done. We had the episode where I was just really off and um I think we still beat a gym leader then. I don't even remember now. Yo, Chuck. Okay, cool. And then we have last episode where we didn't get any gym. Uh, but by doing two badges in this episode, that'll kind of that'll make up for the last episode. Wow, that didn't do nothing. <clears throat> Vacuum wave. And you're dead. So I'm guessing we have to work our way all the way up to turn off some kind of valve or something. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. I'm getting this weird little white bar thing flashing across the screen. See, this is why we need to always have one Pokemon that's high leveled, you know? Just so we can just beat through these guys quick. Now, I don't know what we're looking for, what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, 
I guess we'll have to go down and uh, back up to the other side. Now after this, we'll, the next gym will be really easy because it's an ice gym. <laughs> we'll literally be able to just flamethrower everybody to death. Like super quick. Oh, I think his animation was different that time. I don't know. Yeah, see? So he has two animations. But they're, like, off-centered. We just used a fire move and he did a tackle. But when we did a... But when we did, like, a tackle or headbutt, he did a head fire come out of his, his uh, neck. I guess he's, like, meditating in the waterfall, but then they put this, like, stupid water stream in front of him. Apparently our guy's just not smart enough to know how to get across water. Oh, don't worry there, Yoshi. I wanted to fight you. He turned around instantly the second we stepped on that thing. <clears throat> Hitmonlee, one of my favorite Pokemon. We used him during our, uh, Kanto run. I wanted to poke him up, like, my, my, part of my Kanto rules were a bit better than the rules I have, uh, set up for Johto. And I needed at least a fighting type or a rock type, and I chose to go with a rock, uh, with a fighting type, and I chose to go with Hitmonlee. Okay, so I don't know what we're doing. Oh, okay. So I guess now we have to walk back? I didn't see... I thought I tried to interact with the computer. So now we gotta walk back up the other side. Be great if you weren't in the way. Lung? Black Belt Lung. What a stupid name. I also forgot to mention, the first time that we came to this island to get the medicine, um, I had another Pokemon Crystal moment where it was a uh, Suicune was on the island and just kind of ran... Ran a circle around us and then took off. <clears throat> All right, challenge Chuck. Let's go ahead and get him knocked out so we can open up these boxes and then we can end the episode. Now I don't like doing a whole lot of stuff off camera, you know, because I, I, you know, I don't want you guys to be like, oh, all you do is stuff off camera. Um, the only thing I like to do is obviously training off camera because, you know, that's boring. You guys don't want to sit there and watch me beat low level Pokemon over and over and over. It's not like I'm going to have anything to say about it. And, um, obviously I just go ahead and, like, clear through a route. Like, I doubt you guys want to watch me slowly go through the water route that we were just on, fight every trainer and fight every low-level Pokemon. And essentially that's what I'm skipping, is me fighting all these low-level people and low-level Pokemon that I doubt you guys are really going to want to pay attention to. Oh no. Really? I don't know why I chose this Pokemon. I know that for a fact that that fighting types are weak against water. I, I mean, uh, that flying types are weak against fighting type. Let me hit first so I can win. Nice. Sweet. At least the psychic move was really good against, um... That's why I clicked over to him, because I keep forgetting he's a 
flying Pokemon, I just think of Psychic. Alright, man. Didn't I just say we had like five or six boxes a second ago? Yeah, we- oh, we had six. It just gave us two boxes. <clears throat> okay, thanks, I guess, Martha. I don't care- my hat protects me from this sun! Wow! She's a real, uh, poet. You know, I'll heal him up in a second. All right, guys. So that's it for this episode. Let's go ahead and open up our boxes. And uh, like I said, I'm going to get us all the way back to Eckert City um, off camera. Because it's just going to take me like 10 minutes to walk back. And uh, I doubt you guys want to waste a third of a video on that. Got some clothes this time. A duplicate bike, though. That kind of sucks. The clothing outfit was lame. Money. All these Pokeballs, though, it's just such a bummer because you can't sell anything unless you sell it to another person and no one wants that stuff. <clears throat> Alright. We haven't gotten anything good yet. Some gold. Some more gold. Eventually we'll have to look at all the stuff we can buy with gold and see if we ever want to spend any of this gold. Some gold again. Man, we're getting lucky with the gold, but I just would really love that Pokemon League hat. Oh wow, that's junk. That's about as junky as you just a regular Pokeball. Alright, that's it. Alright guys, so that's it for this episode. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, like I said, I know I had an off day two days ago, and I know I had a almost an off day yesterday. It looks like we got a little bit back on track. I spent some time off camera leveling up the guys, uh, our team here, and I think that really helped us out quite a bit. So hopefully, uh, you know, we'll catch back up in the next episode and everything will be cool. I'll go ahead and get us over by Eckerd City and then off to the right to the, the route that we need to head to, and then I'll catch you guys up there. So, all right, hopefully I'll see you in the next episode.